fractions, missing fraction in a linear sequence. Let's recap. To find a missing pattern, you need to follow a sequence or pattern. 4, 6, 8, something, 12, 14. The sequence is counting up in 2 and the missing number is 10. If the gap is the same every time, it's a linear sequence. Sometimes you might have to convert fractions to the same denominator. We multiply to convert to the lowest common denominator, 6 here, and we must remember to multiply the top and the bottom by the same number to keep the fractions balanced. 1 third is the same as 2 sixths, and 2 thirds is the same as 4 sixths. Now we can work out the differences we can see. Between 1 sixth and 2 sixths, it's 1 sixth, and between 4 and 5, it's 1 sixth. Then we add the difference to find the missing number, so 2 sixths plus 1 sixth is 3 sixths. Can we convert it to a simpler form? The missing number is 3 sixths. If we divide the top and the bottom by 3, we end up with 1 half. The missing number is a half. We can double check the gap is the same to the next number. So 4 sixths minus 3 sixths equals 1 sixth. It's the same gap. What about these numbers? Find the lowest common denominator, here would be 10, and then convert the numbers doing the same to the top and the bottom to keep the fraction balanced. 1 fifth becomes 2 tenths, 2 fifths is 4 tenths, a half is 5 tenths, and 3 fifths are 6 tenths. Now look at the difference, 1 tenth, 1 tenth. We can add that then to the, to the 2 tenths. 2 tenths plus the difference of 1 tenth equals 3 tenths. Can we convert it to a simpler form? No, we can't in this case. So the question mark is 3 tenths. We can double check the gap is the same to the next number. So 4 tenths less the 3 tenths, the gap is 1 tenth. So that's correct. It's the same process if the sequence includes whole numbers. We find the lowest common denominator here, 10, and we turn the whole numbers into improper fractions. So a half becomes 5 tenths, 1 and 1 tenth is 11 tenths, and 1 and 3 tenths becomes 13 tenths. Now we can work out the differences we can see. Between 9 tenths and 11 tenths, it's 2 tenths. And between 11 and 13 tenths, it's 2 tenths. Now we can add the difference to find the missing number. So 5 tenths plus 2 tenths equals 7 tenths. Can we convert to a simpler form? No, we can't. 7 tenths is the answer. We convert to the lowest common denominator. Here it's 5. And we convert our whole numbers to improper fractions. So 1 and 3 fifths is 8 fifths, 3 and 1 fifth is 16 fifths, 4 and 4 fifths is 24 fifths, and 8 is 40 fifths. Now work out the differences. Between 8 and 16 is 8 fifths. Between 16 and 24 is 8 fifths. So now we can add on 8 fifths to 24 fifths. And our answer equals 32 fifths. Can we simplify this? And convert to a simpler form, yes we can, it's an improper fraction. Six fives are 30, so it's six wholes and two fifths. The missing number is six and two fifths and we can double check 40 fifths minus 32 fifths equals eight fifths, so it is correct. Remember, to find the missing number, take the problem step by step. Work out the differences that you can see, and if there's a consistent gap, you can add it to find the missing number. If you need to convert to find a common denominator, remember to do the same to both the top and the bottom of the fraction. If the question is in its simplest form, you need to convert your answer to the simplest form. And if the question includes whole numbers, convert them to improper fractions. Remember to double check your answer